Florida Atlantic University has put out a list of the most overpriced housing markets in America. Five of them are in Florida. And the most overpriced market is Atlanta. Our real estate guy is Mitch Rochelle, and he joins me now. Does it surprise you that so many overpriced markets are in Florida? Because it surprises me, and I don't like it. Uh, welcome uh, to Florida, virtually, Stuart, because <laughs> uh, I'm here. I'm living proof. I moved from New York uh, to Florida uh, for those very reasons. But no, I'm not surprised at all. One thing, and I, and I love FAU. It's our local school down here in Palm Beach County. But the one thing I would say is they're comparing historical trends of sales prices of homes over you know decades to current listing prices. And that's how they're deeming uh, home prices to be overpriced. But it, it doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, the one that surprised me actually was number one, Atlanta because Atlanta is you know, in Georgia and it's not uh, one of those prime states. But what it tells you is that there's growth in places outside of the big coastal cities like New York and California and why Georgia and Atlanta in particular is uh, so relatively expensive is because that economy is growing. And where economies grow, housing markets follow. Got it. Nearly a quarter of first time home buyers lived with their parents before buying their own home in 2023. A quarter. What does that tell you about the real estate market or the housing market? Well, it, it tells you that uh, it's unattainable for most. Interesting about that uh, report is it actually dropped, I think, from 27% down to like 23%. So it's still roughly a quarter. But if you look at historical trends in housing, it's not uncommon at all for you know young couples to uh, rent before they buy or even try to save money by living with their folks or living with family. Uh, so that's not overly alarming. Uh, what's unique about it is we went through this whole period where millennials were sort of living on their parents' couches for a variety of reasons, uh, and affordability really wasn't one of them. Now we have this major affordability challenge uh, for first-time home buyers. And that's the thing that worries me because I think the the ownership of a home for a family is probably the greatest wealth accumulator for them in their lifetime. But it's not going away, is it? Prices remain elevated, no. shall we say that. Yeah. Mortgage rates remain elevated, let's put it like that. That's going to take a long time to dissipate. So we're going to have a lot of people living at home before they can buy their first home. This is not going away, Mitch. No, it's not. And uh, here I sit in Florida. My kids are still here. Uh, they haven't gone back uh, to, to their places. Uh, why wouldn't you when mom and dad pay for everything? So um, I, I, I don't think it's going to go away. What I will say, because I know you like predictions, I do think we're going to see housing prices continue to go up this year because mortgage rates are going to fall. And those folks who are living with mom and dad, their demand, they want to buy a home. And as soon as they see any kind of a crack, like mortgage rates falling a point, point and a half, they're going to jump into the housing market. And we've done nothing to create enough supply for all of those buyers. And mom and dad will have to chip in for the down payment, presumably. Yes. I remember those days. Of course they will. Yeah, they will. <laughs> if you can, you will. That's the way it is. Mitch, thanks a lot. We'll see you again real soon.